What it do everybody, it's your boy Marshy Dodon coming at you guys with another video and oh my god guys has it been the craziest four weeks in our whole community's existence. So not only has Vermilion been shut down and sold to someone else, but SynapseX has made the move to join Roblox and Scriptware announced that they are discontinuing, Kernel announced that they are discontinuing, the whole community is up in arms, everything's going crazy right now but hey, we're not here to talk about all that negativity in today's video. We're going to be doing something very positive in today's video. I'm going to be giving you guys something to keep yourselves occupied with while we wait for Electron V3 to hit the market. I'm not sure about RCM and RC7. I'm not sure if that will actually ever hit the market, but I'm very confident that Electron will be making a return very soon. So make sure you've got notifications turned on and you're subscribed to my channel so you guys don't miss out when the first script executor for the web version gets updated because I will be doing a live stream slash video on that so you don't want to miss that stay tuned for that one as for the sign up situation guys i already spoke about it on a live stream and that live stream will be getting re-uploaded very soon so also stay tuned for that one let's get into this video so you guys want to head over to robloxshift.com you can find this link at surmeminfo.com or click on surmeemstuff.com in the link in the description below head over to robloxscripts.com make sure to bookmark the website if you haven't already head over to the search bar search for amy and this is what i'm going to be teaching you guys how to use today so this was made by baby hamster once again big respect for baby hamster he makes all of this stuff for free no key systems nothing so before we even get into any tutorials or anything else i just want you guys to go to the github give this a star and if you really want to if you're feeling very generous because let's be real baby hamster deserves this guys if you want to go ahead and donate sponsor the project head over right here click on this love heart and you can actually sponsor baby hamster if you just want to give a one-time donation feel free to hit up his paypal it's right here on the side because he's literally dedicating his time to do this for us no he doesn't have to do this guys he doesn't have to spend the time debugging and creating this he did not have to do that but he took the time to do this in a time where we have not much tools to use and this is way better than Nazur. this uses way less resources and it's just a better program overall so let's get into the amy tutorial so part one you guys want to head over to the releases section right here and you want to download the latest version so it's always a good idea to check back at the releases section in case baby hamster releases a new version you want to drag this to your desktop and then you want to extract this so you can extract this using any tool you want i'm using winraw to extract this and then we're going to delete the original one. We're going to open up the folder. And this is basically what we have with Amy. So welcome to Amy, everybody. I know some of you may have heard of this. Some of you might not have any idea what this is. It's completely free to use, requires zero key system, and it's completely open source. So any Python developers, any, you know, any, any kind of developers watching this, you guys can go ahead, make a pull request, help improve this, fix some bugs optimize this anything you want please contribute to this any any one of us can contribute to this this is why i like this project so much guys but anyway so this is amy we've got a really nice ui here we've got all of the settings we've got fov change the key bind this is where you enable the aim bot we you can toggle mouse sensitivity y offset x offset all these settings are very important because not every game will work on the same settings so you will need to find a sweet spot for every different game that you try we've also got a trigger bot which a lot of people are happy about and here is where you actually select different models so yes you can create your own models and that's what i'm going to be showing you guys how to do in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to train your own ai models for amy so if you head to the bin folder you will see two different folders there's the models folder and there's the images folder these are going to be very important folders for what we're doing today if you head into the models folder amy comes with two pre-installed models now you might be thinking sir mean where can i get models from don't worry guys i've got you covered there's actually an unofficial discord for amy which you guys can join right now here is the discord the link will be in the comment section below pinned to the top you guys can go check this out the link will also be on robloxscripts.com as well this is a unofficial community this is not affiliated with baby hamster directly but this community is a really good one i've been here for over two weeks now we've already got an apex legends model counter blocks model fortnite model pistol 1v1 battle bit v1 and it's really simple to add these into amy you just literally have to click download this model has been trained on 5,000 images and it's for battle bit so this works on more than just roblox games guys which is really awesome so head over to the models and you literally just have to drag this straight into the folder and boom you now can go load up battle bit and start using aimbot on battle bit so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to train any game you want and the game we're going to be using is frontline 
So I'm gonna be training a front lines model. I don't know how many images I'm gonna be training it on yet. We'll have to see how much data I can collect. And that's what we're about to do now. I'm gonna show you guys how to collect data. So step one, we need to collect a bunch of images to train the AI on. So we're gonna start by loading into front lines. Let me just turn my volume down. We're gonna load into the game and you do need to turn on some settings. So the first thing you wanna turn on is the FOV and then you want to enable the aimbot. Now we're not actually gonna be using the aimbot. You do need to select a model. I recommend you guys just select universal and then we're gonna enable the aimbot. So now the aimbot's enabled, you wanna head over to settings and this is where you want to disable the aimbot. So you can either do this by taking this to 1% or you can take this to 100%. So make this 100% confidence and this should disable the aimbot from working while you're playing and collecting data. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna turn on collect data while playing. So let me explain to you guys how this is gonna work. So if we go back to the bin folder and we head over to the images folder, you guys will see that it's currently pressing the right key. I don't know why it's doing this. Every time you press the aimbot, every time you activate the aimbot, so if I press the right mouse button right now, so I just pressed it right there. Let me just load up the folder again. You can see that it just just added an image so I'm gonna do some gameplay real quick just to show you guys how this works okay so we've just had a little bit of gameplay right there and if we go back to the folder you should see that there's now a few images in the folder so if we actually zoom in on these images you can see that these are the perfect images. These are captured in 640 resolution and these are the images that we're gonna be using to train the model. Now the best images are the ones with enemies in clear view. So what we're gonna do now is this is the fun part. We're gonna play the game for the rest of today. We're gonna to play the game a little bit tomorrow morning. We're gonna see how many images we can collect and then that will take us to part two of this video guide. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Let's get into the fun part. Let's get some fire gameplay clips. Okay guys, it's time to get into the final part of the video. It's currently Friday. I've got all of my images. We've got everything we need to progress to the final part and the most important part of this guide, actually showing you guys how to label your images and actually train an AI model that you can just drag into Amy and start using or share with your friends. The possibilities are truly endless. So if we head into my Amy folder, you guys can see in the images folder, I've collected a bunch of different images. We've got 3,589 images collected total. The more images you collect, the more labeling you can do and the better the AI will turn out. So I think 3,500 is a good amount for a demonstration. And now we're actually gonna get into this. So you're gonna wanna head over to robloxscripts.com once again, click on the Amy post. This link will be in the description below. Head over to the GitHub right here. And once you are on the GitHub, you want to scroll all the way down until you find the guide called what is the web model. So you wanna click on this website right here, makesense.ai, and this is where I'll be doing all of my labeling for the images that we've just collected. So you wanna click on get started, it will ask you for some images, and this is basically where you will drag your images into. So if I go into my images folder, we're not gonna use all 3,000 because I've already gone through them on Wednesday night. It took me four, it took me around four, five-ish hours to train all of these images. Uh, not to train them, but to manually label them. It took even longer to train the images, but we'll get into that at the end of the video. Anyways, we're gonna select 30 images just for demonstration purposes, and we're gonna drag it straight into this box right here, and you wanna click on object detection, guys. Now, when it asks you to create a label, you want to create an enemy label, so capital E, enemy. Uh, you can make this any color you want. I like to do it red because that symbolizes enemies. So do we have a nice red color? Yep, there we go. And we can now click start project. So how this works is you go through every image you've got. And for example, every enemy you see, you just want to highlight it in a square and then obviously confirm that it's an enemy. And we can do the same for every enemy that appears on screen. So that's basically the idea of how this works. So we've got two enemies right here. Boom. We just highlight both of them. And you're probably thinking, Sir Meme, is there a way to make this automatic? Can we automatically label these images? Well, there is a quick tool that you can do, a quick trick that not many people know about. Baby Hamster did teach us this in his guide, but it seems that people keep forgetting that this is a thing. So if you go, go ahead and download the Amy source code, which I already have done right here, we open up the master file. And if we go into the universal v3 web model file you can actually use this to help speed up the labeling process and i highly recommend you guys do this it saved me a lot of time when i was training the 3000 images and to use this all you have to do is go to run ai locally click on yolo v5 
click use model and it will ask you to drag and drop a model in here so just head back to the universal model folder drag all of these uh, files into here click use model and what this will do now is it will run this through every single image you've just put into here and it will try and automatically detect players for you so if we go through some of these images now we should see some auto detections you can see right here it automatically detected the gun as an enemy so we just cross that off has it actually detected any enemies let's find out if we can go through some images here yep it has successfully detected an enemy right here you can see the pc has already labeled this we just have to confirm that it's definitely an enemy but it did miss these two enemies right here so we'll just add them to it it successfully selected this guy as an enemy which is really good so yeah you, you guys get the point it selected this guy as an enemy selected his gun as an enemy it doesn't get it right every time but it definitely helps speed up the process so i'm going to go through every single one of these images we're going to label them let's speed this up Okay, so we've finished labeling our images. We can now export the images, which you can do by going to export annotations. And this won't actually save the images. This will just literally export the labels for the corresponding images. So click on export, it's gonna download this. And we can now get onto the actual training of the AI, which is what everybody wants to find out how to do. So we're just gonna extract this and we're gonna get into the things you need to actually get this running. So you will need Python and the version of Python we're gonna be using for this is 3.11. So make sure you've got Python 3.11. All these links will be available on robloxscripts.com. They will be added right here to this page. So go check this page out after this video is posted and you should see all the links you need. So go, go ahead, download Python. I've already got it installed. Make sure you select the add to path when you're installing python that's a very important step so go ahead download python and the second thing you guys are going to need once you've downloaded python is you will need to run this command right here so you will need to install ultralytics so we're going to go ahead we're going to open up command prompt real quick and we just got to check that we've got python installed so check that you've successfully got python installed properly you can do this command right here and it will tell you that you've got python installed correctly and now we can do the pip install command so we're going to do this so this is what we will need to install the ai to train you can see that i've already got this installed and if you guys have any issues, any compatibility issues, you can run this command. Just make sure that you go ahead and get the requirements.txt file from the actual Ultralytics website and you should be able to install this as well. So if you have any compatibility issues with Ultralytics, you can just go ahead and install this. The documentation will also be available on robloxscripts.com as well. So you guys can see requirement already satisfied. We've already got this installed. This is YOLO V8. We are pretty much good to go. Now the final thing you guys will need to install is this is a very important step otherwise you will end up training the AI with your CPU and I'm pretty sure not many people want to do that. So to ensure that you're going to train this with your graphics card which mine is a 3090 so we definitely want this to happen you will need to install PyTorch. So head over to this link and you want to select stable you want to select windows and then you want to do pip python CUDA 12.1 and you're basically good to go at this point. So install CUDA 12.1, that's the version that I'm using. Once you've installed that, you can actually do a test. After you've installed NVIDIA CUDA 12.1, there is a command that you guys can run inside the Python console. So if you do import torch and then wait for it to do its thing, and then you wanna type this following statement right here. Run this command right here, press enter, and if it says true, that means that it can successfully access your GPU and you are good to go. There's nothing else you need to do now. You can go ahead and start training this AI with the following commands that I'm about to show you guys, and obviously the following folder setup. So you guys wanna head back to your desktop, and this is the most important part of the whole entire video. So you wanna create a brand new folder. This is where you're gonna train any of your AI models. So we're just gonna call this a folder for training. And inside the folder, we're going to create an images folder and we're going to create a labels folder. Now, if you guys check on the right, the right hand side is a setup that I've already got running. So you just want to copy the setup I've got on the right hand side. This data file is very important. You will be able to download this straight from robloxscripts.com. So go ahead, head over to robloxscripts.com, download this file because you will need the data 
.yml file. So go ahead and download that. So we're going to drag this straight into here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you don't need to put the PT file in there. I'm pretty sure YOLO creates one on its own. So you're pretty much good. You don't need to create a runs file. Inside the images and labels folder, you need to create a train and val folder. So you've got to do this for both of these. So we've got train, we've got val, and we're going to go into the images uh, labels folder. And we've got another train and another val. So this is very confusing your first time, but don't worry guys, once you do it the first time, it's so easy to do. Now the second thing you need to do is you need to actually add the correct paths to the data file. So open up the data file in notepad or whatever you want to use. And now we're going to add the correct paths. So the correct path for this is in the images folder. You want to go to train. And for the first part where it says train, you want to copy this path right here. Now you want to go back into the images folder, go to the val folder, and you want to copy that into the val section. So very simple steps to follow. You guys should not be able to mess this up. So there we go. So we've got both paths done. We don't have to touch that file anymore. That's pretty much good to go. Now we need to add the images that we're training into the images folder, train and val. Okay, so we're going to go back to the images folder. We've selected 30 images and you now want to drag the images you're going to train into the train and val folder. So we're going to copy and paste this. So copy 30 images. Uh, now we're going to go into the vel, we're going to copy them. And now you guys want to copy the labels you made. So we've got the labels we've just did and you want to extract that folder. Oh, we've already extracted it. I didn't even realize. Retard moment, guys. Okay, so we've got all the labels here. We're just going to copy and paste these straight into the labels folder, train and vel. So you want to do the exact same thing for the labels. And now you're pretty much good to go, guys. After you've done that, you are pretty much good to go. We can now get to the most important part of the video, the actual training process. So if we open up this little help sheet I've got for you guys, this is the first command that we're going to run. So you want to go ahead to the folder. You want to type CMD. So you want to CMD into the folder. And now you want to copy and paste this command. But obviously you want to edit this first. So we're going to be training with a hundred epochs for this video. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but just for a demonstration, we're going to do a hundred epochs for it. Just to put this into perspective, I just finished training 3,600 images at a thousand epochs and it took me 13.1 hours with my 3090 graphics card. So just put that into perspective. You can also change the batch number as well, but I'm going to keep it at 16 and we're going to put the model name. We're going to call this Frontlines Video Guide uh, and you don't have to touch anything else. We're pretty much good to go. So we're going to copy this, we're going to paste this, we're going to run this, and let's see what happens. So it's downloading YOLO V8. So as you can see guys, it's scanning the folders we've highlighted, and now it's about to train the images using our graphics card. Okay, here we go guys. As you can see, we're only training 30 images, so it's going to go really, really, really fast. But the more images you do, the longer it will take to complete every epoch loop. So it's going to be able to do 100 loops very, very quickly. And you can see that it is using GPU processing power. We did install CUDA 12.1 correctly. So this is how it works, guys. We're this is how simple it is. I mean, those steps might sound complicated and confusing. But if you got confused at any point, please feel free to comment down below. Ask me any questions. If you want me to help you with this on Discord, set this up on your desktop, I will be more than happy to do so because I can't wait to get a big community Unity surrounded around the Amy software and it's gonna be really cool we're gonna have loads of people training models I can't wait to see what models people train okay so the training is finished guys it did a it literally completed it in how long how much time did it take 0.028 hours 100 epochs training on 30 images and now the final part this is where we can actually export this and run this in Amy so if we head over to the folder where we've just done all the training, you will now see that there's two new files. There's a YOLO V8 file and there's a runs folder. If you go into the runs folder and go into the detect folder, you will see the name that we originally gave when we ran the YOLO command. So open up this folder and here we go. You can actually see the batches that the AI has trained. You can see where the enemies have been selected. You can see how well it has performed. It looks like it's performed really well. And if we head over to the weight section, this is where you get your model. So best.pt is the model that you want to use. And to get this model, you just want to command line into this again. We want to go to the help sheet. And this is where we export this. So copy this command, paste this command, head back into the folder. Where is the folder? I can't remember where the folder is. And this is the model guys. We just did the model so we can rename this video guide model. 
and we can test this out. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work. So just for the, just for comedic purposes, I will test this model out that's been trained on 30 images. So we'll see how this goes, guys. So to use your model after you've trained it, you literally just drag and drop it straight into Amy. And now if we launch Amy, you will be able to see your own model is a selectable model. So video guide model, we can now right click this, load this. And if we actually launch into front lines, let's see if this actually performs, guys. Okay, guys, so we've got Amy loaded up. Does this actually work? It almost worked. It almost worked. It kind of locked onto that guy, but let's see if it works. We're going to speed up some gameplay. Wow, it kind of semi works and we've only trained it on 30 images. Now, obviously the aimbot is absolutely dog shit right now, but we literally only trained it on 30 images, guys, and I can kind of feel it locking onto people. It doesn't lock onto them pow that powerful, but you can see right there. There we go, guys. It's actually locking onto people and we've only trained it on 30 images. How insane is that, guys? How insane is this? We've only trained it on 30 images and we're having, you can literally create an aimbot in less than two minutes. We just created an aimbot in less than two minutes on 30 images. Imagine if you guys train thousands of images right now. That is a hundred epochs, 30 images, and this shit is actually locking onto people. Like it doesn't, it's not perfect guys, it's not perfect. It's not even been trained on this map, but as you can see, when, it, when you're in the lighter areas in certain lighting, it does lock on to people. So this is a really cool project and I hope every single person watching this video, I hope you can just go out there right now and have fun making your own models because anybody can do this. This is what I love about this. Anybody can get involved watching this. You don't have to have the best PC in the world. Obviously the more powerful PC you have, the quicker it will be to train. But you can see right there that the model works really good. So that's about it for this video. I want to thank every single one of you for watching this. And I also want to give a massive shout out to Baby Hamster for making this possible. I don't know what goes through this guy's head, but he brings us some truly amazing software. So shout out to Baby Hamster. And once again, guys, for the final part of the video, if you want to go check out the model I used to train on 3,600 images that I did for the purpose of this video, you can go check this out in the unofficial Amy Discord server. So go check this out. 3,600 images and for the final remainder of the video I will leave you guys with some gameplay clips of my fully trained model with 3,600 images that took me 13.1 hours to train on a thousand epochs and I've got a 3090 guys so I was pushing my card to the limits so go ahead join this discord thanks for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't already turn on notifications comment down below what you guys want to see next and I will be doing more videos on Amy in the future but not for Roblox. So stay tuned for that one and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.